bobby pins. I swear they have legs. Like, where the fuck did you go? Where? Hi guys, my name is Tiffany. Welcome to my channel. So today I thought we would play around more with the Lives of Drag palette. If you did not see my review or first impressions of the palette yesterday, I used a lot more colorful shades and today I wanted to do a more natural glam type wearable look for those of you that want to know how the neutrals apply in this palette because I feel like everyone's done such colorful looks. I wanted to put this palette to the test this week and really test it out every day. So if you're interested in how I got this look and how the matte side, the more neutral side, the boring side, how that applies, nothing wrong with boring. I like how this turned out. So anyways, then um, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. I will be testing this out all week. So every day will be a new look and I want to make sure I use every color in this palette by the end of this week. So. Hopefully you guys like that idea. I just get tired of people reviewing palettes in the first impressions and then you never see that palette again. And I don't have money to be wasting on a palette that I'm only gonna use in a one-time review. So I really wanna see what I can do with this palette. And if you have any recommendations or stuff you wanna see or certain colors that you really want me to test out, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Um, and if you guys have the palette, your thoughts, all that stuff. I'm going to stop rambling because, yeah, I just had an energy and, and two coffees this morning. So, okay, let's get into this look. Alright guys, so I'm not going to zoom you in as much as I usually do because I've realized that sometimes I cut out my whole, like, I look down and then I cut out my whole face and then you just see the top of my head. So, we are going to go like this today. So hopefully this is okay and you guys can see. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm gonna start by putting this light cover FX powder underneath my eyeballs. Um, I really like how this lightens it up and it's just gonna kind of help protect any fallout. So not that I had fallout yesterday, but let's not jinx it. So I'm just gonna take my little Sonia Kashuk sponge and just go right underneath the eyeballs. Right there. Oh, feels good. I feel like myself again today. All right. Yesterday, I don't know what was going on. I was just not in a great, great mood. <laughs> um, I think that has to do with the fact that like I, I have stitches in my arm and I like replaced my birth control stuff and I don't know. I think it just made me in a crap mood, to be honest. So, sorry about that for you guys who are like, ugh. All right, so I'm gonna start in with the shade Sickening. Make sure you guys can see me today. And we're just gonna take that in the crease. I don't really have an idea exactly of what I'm gonna be doing. I just want to do more of a natural look and play around with the natural shadows of the palette. So that is my goal today. All right, so I'm just gonna make sure I really blend that out. I will probably end up doing like a half cut crease. So today I am just following my natural crease. But yeah, do you guys ever feel like, man, I just have weeks where I'm just like bleh. And I'm like, there's nothing going on. I don't know why. All right, I'm gonna take the shade. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush. I'm gonna take this Wayne Goss number four. And we're gonna go in with that deeper brown, the shade Mug. And just take that a little bit more precisely in the crease just to deepen that up. Yeah. So these are blending out super well. I didn't do a lot of the natural colors yesterday, so if you want to see a more colorful look, definitely check that out. And then I'm gonna take Ooh, I'm gonna take a little bit of trade as well. And we're gonna focus that more on the outer corner. I don't want this look to be super, super boring. So I'm still like, mm, we might use one of the more exciting shades. 
All right, I'm gonna take my Morphe M321. I don't know if it's useful for you guys to know the brushes or not, so just let me know. And I'm gonna take the shade Snatched, which is that red shade. I'm gonna deep dip into there very lightly, as you guys could see yesterday. Like the colorful shadows are super pigmented. Yeah. And I'm just gonna focus that more on the outside of the eye. So just kind of sweeping it, making that corner. But you really just need the tiniest bit to have that red show up. So nothing too crazy as I go in with more. All right. I'm actually gonna take that in a little bit more just to kind of make it stand out. So I'm really just taking that into the crease. All right, so that is what that looks like so far. All right, so I'm gonna cut my crease with this NARS Creme Brulee concealer in the little pot. Uh, I really just use these for this. I don't really use it for an actual concealer. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to rush a little bit. My sister's coming over to watch The Bachelor. So, hopefully we can get this done. And it will still look really good. I'm not gonna go too far over my lid today. Like I said, I'm just gonna take it in about halfway. And then straight down. So just remember to take your time with this. All right, so just about halfway in. And then I'm gonna take that blending brush, just a clean blending brush, just to fix it just a little bit. I need to go back over with that purple, but we'll put on the shimmer shade first. I think today I'm gonna to use the shade Beat, which is that really pretty pink shimmery shade. So I'm gonna take my MAC 239. No, this is not the brush I want. Bah. MAC 242. Has anyone tried MAC's new, like, you know how they change their brushes? I haven't bought any since then, and I'm kind of not wanting to, to be honest. So I'll scoot you guys in just a little bit. We're gonna do this dry first. That's really pretty. So that is it, just apply dry. Super metallic. Of course, being me, I am gonna take that and wet it with some Max Fix Plus and just see if that helps make it a little bit more. But yeah, I know I said this before, but I feel like no one, apparently nobody watches The Bachelor other than me, so. But if you do, I wanna know who you think is gonna win. Any ideas? All right, so that definitely helped it stand out a little bit more, for sure. I'm gonna take it a little bit more, spray it one more time. Sometimes I feel like I miss the brush when I spray it. So I just want to make sure that I'm not doing that. But yeah, that's a really pretty rose gold. I really like that shade. Okay. And then now I'm going to take a smaller brush and go back in with Snatched. And just kind of blend that a little bit better into that rose gold shade. That way it's all looking a little bit seamless. Okay, that is all we're gonna do for that top lash. Which is really pretty. It blended out super well. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye and then let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and do eyeliner. And I, today I think I'm gonna use I'm gonna use these cat eye lashes from Flutter Lashes and we'll see how those look. I'll be right back in two seconds. More like 20 minutes. Okay, as you can see, I do not have my lashes on yet. Uh, what I want to do actually is play around with something else. I just feel like it needs a little extra, you know? Like I went to go put lashes on and I was like, I don't feel like I'm done yet. So I think, mm -hmm. 
Let's take this Fenty Beauty in Tankini. And we're going to put that in the inner corners. Mm -mm. I'm just going to take it like right there. There we go. Okay. That adds something. <laughs> now I'm happy. I am already here. We'll do lashes last last. So this is in the shade. Let's see if I can read it. Blacker. Blacker. That makes sense. So this is why I love these. This feature. I hate sharpening pencils. I feel like I can never find my stupid sharpener. Now Jean. We're gonna grab a little tiny pencil brush. Alright, we're gonna take Take the shade trade and smudge that out. So I kind of want it to be blown out quite a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trying to close my mouth. That is how that looks. Um, I think I want to do the slightest bit of snatch just on the outer point to kind of just tie it in. So we're going to take the shade snatched, same exact brush, and just on that outer portion, I'm going to really smoke that out. This is a perfect daytime look, right? Much better. So if you feel like it's a little bit too much and you went too far, you can always dip back into sickening and just go underneath. I think it's fine. I don't mind a big blow out or lash line. I don't mind it at all. Oh. All right. Now, I'm just gonna wipe this away. I don't want it sitting there for too long. Now I'm gonna go do lashes, and then we'll do highlights and lips together. I don't know what I wanna do for highlight yet, so I'm excited to try. So I'm gonna go put on those lashes. I will be back, and this time I'll really be back with, with eyelashes on. Yeah. I don't know what this go team go clapping thing is. I don't know. All right, I am back. Lashes were a success. They didn't take too long, so that's nice. All right, we are gonna do Let's see. This is Max Spice lip liner. I can't talk and do this at the same time, guys. All right, now I'm gonna grab Kylie Cosmetics Commando. Does anybody else feel? I haven't bought anything from Kylie in a while. Nothing's really caught my attention at all. I love the velvet formula though. I do love it. All right, so lastly, we're gonna go in with highlight. I think what I wanna do is take beat. Mm. Yeah, let's try beat as a highlight. So I'm not gonna go too crazy with the highlight, but look how pretty that is just as a highlight. So this is a multi-use palette. All right, guys, I'm gonna zoom you out. All right, guys, so this is the completed look. Um, I actually really like how it turned out. So yesterday I went in with like all the really fun colors and then today I went with just the neutral side other than a little bit of snatched, that red shade. Um, but they actually worked out really well. I didn't have any problems blending. Um, so as far as day two goes, I'm still really liking this palette. Um, yeah, just super easy going out look. If you're too scared to use color, at least now you know, like you can still get a really good neutral look out of this palette. But yeah, everything blended well. I used B obviously as the highlight, which was nice. So I think you can really do a lot with this. Tomorrow I'll be back to a colorful look. So 
do not forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe that way you guys can see all the looks you can do with this palette um i just want you guys to get your money's worth out of it so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i wasn't so blech and in a shit mood today um <laughs> so that's good i mean i guess that's mondays for you maybe mondays i should not should not film on a monday i don't know but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys could see everything. And I'm gonna stop babbling. I'm gonna go watch The Bachelor and uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day. Bye.